hello, hello, hello. Happy live day. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. Hello. Um, I hope y'all had a super awesome weekend. Happy August, OMG. Um, it makes me sad that it's August, but at the same time, I'm super happy because <laughs> secretly I can't wait till the kids go back to school. I don't know how many of you are like in my boat, but I cannot wait secretly. I love having my kids home, but I also secretly cannot wait to they go back to school. Please, please, please. I just want a little peace and quiet work time during the day. That's all I want. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh. So y'all know what Monday is. Let me click on my buttons. Let me click all my buttons. Oh my goodness. Yes. So hello, YouTube. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm looking... I'm looking at where my camera used to be and now it's moved. <laughs> Legit. <laughs> I'm such a dork. My body, like my muscle memory, honestly, I remember things. It's almost like I have so many apps on my phone. My fingers know like my muscle memory is exactly right here on the thing where my like whatever app is but I have multiple pages of apps. So if I go, and I do use folders, so I still have multiple pages. So I'll be on the wrong page and I'll click and I'll be like, why isn't it there? And I'll realize, oh, I was in the wrong page. Like I just automatically click. <gasps> okay, why? So, YouTube says that my video is running limited because content is identified as not suitable for most people. WTF? I'm sorry. I do not have any of that stuff. Like, I'm not unsuitable. Wow, wow, wow. Is there a way, like, can people report my page? I don't know why. I don't have inappropriate content. OMG. I'm super sad all of a sudden. I can't figure it out now, but just so you know. And why would it be on a live video? Like, how could someone report my video before I even really got started? Oh, well. Hmm. Okay. All right. We're good. People quit reporting me for things that are silly that I, that's not real. Right? Quit it. Quit it, quit it, quit it. All right. Let's get this shared. Will, shall we, shall we get this shared and move on from YouTube? First, they cut me off last Friday, which I was super sad about. Then, now they're telling me I only have limited ability. Um, boo, y'all. That's what we're doing today. And we're going to do a new bundle box. Um, which is pretty cool, and I need to link this, and then we're ready to go. There you go. Okay, so, oh, we did it. Hi, Linda. Hello. Oh, we have lots of people before Linda. Barbie is here. Sherry Brown and Connie Riffle and Margaret. Let's go down here. Oh my goodness, so many. Vanessa, Greta, hello. And Anne-Marie and Dawn and Linda again. 
and Nicole Hannafin, shout out. Oh my goodness, Greta, you got your cool sunglasses on. Don Harper, hello. Say what? Melody Williams from Arkansas. It's way far from me. Hello, Jane. Hi, Debbie Ortega. And Carol from Very Smoky, Canada. It has been very smoky here. Yesterday was really bad. I just can't believe how far it travels. And Vicki Keller. Yep, you're probably right. Hi, Wendy Baker. Hi, Andy Short. And Monica. Hello, Francisca. It's Frenchie from Indiana. Hello, Frenchie. Um, hi, Nancy Powell. It's okay. You can listen. I'll try to say a joke or two. Crack you up. Hi, Marsha. We had a great weekend. We were home for the first time since June 5th. I know I've said that a million times. Hello, Monique. Oh, yay. You get to watch me. Hi, Sherry Prince. And Shorty's here. And Ruth. Friday, YouTube literally cut me off. So I was getting started and they cut me off and I had to restart and I was in the middle. So it kind of like cut part of it off. So I'm sorry if that, and unfortunately the, mach the, the machine, the um, thing that I use for, um, for YouTube, the um, my iPad is what I record on. And so I didn't even have a full record to like replace the cut in half one. I apologize. So we do have a new bundle box today. Um, basically, on Mondays, I am I put together like a real fun kit that you can get only from me. We're gonna do the, I'm gonna do the project. So here's your video tutorial. If you love it, type box in the comments on Facebook. It only works on Facebook, it does not work on YouTube. So if you're on Facebook, you can type box, B-O-X in the comments and I'll send you a message. It'll ask you if you want to see the bundle box. You say, yes, I do. Yes, 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 please. Um, and then it will show you the contents, the price. I am not allowed to tell you the price of the box here because it's that good. And I know that sounds corny, but I have to play by the rules. And there are rules that I'm not allowed to advertise a price other than retail. So, we are going to create the cutest little boo y'all um, Halloween thing. And I have, I always have a limited number of boxes. Um, we've been selling a little bit less boxes, so I don't have like a huge supply of these. But if it goes over well and you want to order one, I could definitely um, do like some, um, like a back order thing. So we are going to paint this. We are going to make it into like the cutest little stand. Ah, the cutest little stand. We're going to paint it. We're going to have a booyah and we're going to have a 3D ghost. He's going to be awesome. And we're going to decorate it all with embellishments. So the first thing we have to do is get our black chalk paste so that we can paint our box. Now, this is a double sided. So if you want... You can leave this side white or leave the side um, uh, brown um, and paint, you know, around it. It's up to you if you want to make this double-sided or not. I let my son, so my son was doing a project and I was like, I will use this after my son um, messed it up. He got glue on it. So I'm going to use the brown side. Well, he got glue on it because we were trying to glue. He had this 3D puzzle and we were trying to glue it on here to make it frame. And then we realized this was too small. So it's not like he got glue on it, but we used it and realized it wasn't going to work. So we took it off. So I'm going to paint the other side. And what I'm going to do, because 
Y'all know me and I am, oh, I just realized I forgot. You do get a color tray in the box. I forgot to add it to the photo. Just know you'll get your color tray. Um, so here's what's happening. I am going to put um, a couple scoops. So you're gonna get a whole packet of black. So I'm gonna put a couple scoops in here, which probably is a good portion of your packet. And I am gonna add water to it because I want to thin it down a little bit. This is not, I, I always grab the wrong one. Okay, so I'm thinning it down a little bit, just enough to cover that. And then I'm gonna spray my wood because it makes that chalk go on way easier. Just get it a little bit wet with water and then start mixing this with the water so that it's a thin runny chalk. It's gonna be pretty solid but at the same time your eyes look are you kidding Dion? Are you just saying that or did somebody tell you Nobody, I could, I didn't tell anybody. So guess what I did today? Guess what I did? I bit, I, 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 I don't know how to say this. I took the plunge. I got lash extensions. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure because um, I have done the glue, I've done the magnets, I've done everything and I feel like all summer I've been wearing less makeup because my skin is tanner and so I feel like, oh, I could get away with such less but I always, the mascara and everything and eyeliner. So I was wearing falsies at ChalkCon and people were like, oh my gosh, your eyes look um, so good. And, the, and one of my friends was like, you should really try extensions. And I'm like afraid, I was afraid. I don't know why I was afraid. I cannot even feel them. I had no idea it would be so easy. Um, it was kind of pricey, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little bit skeptical because I don't, I mean, I don't want to spend, you know, I don't want to spend a lot, but um, it was kind of pricey where I went because we only have like private salons here. We don't have like some of those um, other places I've heard about, like the chains and stuff. But so I spent two hours. She goes, you're going to have a two hour nap. So I spent two hours laying down, enjoying the calming, quiet um, of her little salon room. And I did, I got them done. And they're very like natural looking, not like she goes. And I, I was like, I don't know if I should take offense to this or not. She goes, she's like, we don't need to try to look like we're in our twenties. And I'm like, I'm old but come on um but anyway so it was it was it was really cool um and I got them done and I think they look really really good and I have absolutely no mascara no eyeliner on at all so I'm really excited that you noticed because um I got home and I was like honey how do my eyes look he's like I don't even I don't even like what what is what is it like what did you even do and I'm like God. so then I had to explain it to him but I'm super happy so you're supposed to go she said like two to three weeks she goes usually she goes it's very rare that you can go four weeks so you go and like get them filled like 
as your lashes naturally come out, because they do, it's like hair, um, you will we'll just get them um, filled. So you just, the new ones that have grown in, you just get redone every like two to three weeks. So I made another appointment for two weeks from now to check on it and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm telling you, if I have survived gluing lashes on, I, and I, there's always like part that like makes me do this. Like I'm, I'm, something is like not right. Um, oh yes, YouTube. So sorry. Oh, you want to know why? My camera's missing. Hold on. It didn't come up. Um, I'm only painting. I promise you haven't missed anything super duper important. I'm literally just painting with um, this stuff. The I'm going to get a glove so that I can work freely and touch things. Uh, so anyway, Dion, you noticed it. And I appreciate it because I wasn't sure how natural they look and how if, if people will notice. So um, I'm really excited. Thank you, Kayleen. Can you fix the jar of paste on the shelf? I've been... <gasps> OMG! Yes! That is so funny. That is something I would notice and be like, oh my gosh. That's bothering me. I need it to be fixed. Yeah, I didn't even realize until I looked at my background on my camera. All right, so I'm painting the inside of this. So I'm not painting the white side for me because, number one, that's the side that we got the glue on. And I'm reusing this. And I am going to paint up here. And I don't know if I decide later on down the road that I want to make this double-sided, um, I can always paint it. So it looks like you're going to have tons of um, black chalk paste in your, in your packet to paint this entire thing and then some. So you don't need to squeeze out every bit of paste that you have in there to paint this because we're not using this to chalk that transfer at all look at that I even got some on there okay so once I have this done I'm gonna try to dry it with my quick dry tool oh my gosh okay all right so I'm going to leave that down. And I kind of think it will look cool if it's a little bit, like, not solid. All right, so painted, done. Now we need to paint our little, cute little, I'm going to call it like a little finial thing. I'm just going to paint it again with the mixture of chalk paste and water. This is what I need my gloves for. And you don't have to paint the bottom because you're going to glue that bottom onto your board. Now, um, you're going to get a candlestick. Some of the candlesticks that you get might be fatter like this. I have some that are just a little taller. So you may, um, you're getting an assortment. They all work the same. And it will be... Um, it will look amazing, I promise. I will not steer you wrong. So we are just painting these three things. Your little candlestick, your little finial, and your box. And I still have a lot of this left, a lot. Um, so very good, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to wash out this paintbrush just with water. 
What's the easiest way to, oh my gosh. If you want to know how to turn your water completely black, it's just wash with black. It's crazy. Okay, I am going to, I'm gonna dry this with my gloves on because especially these little guys, I don't wanna pick them up. Oh my gosh, your husband would notice Valerie for sure. Were you a teacher at 28 years in elementary? Melody, I taught 21 years before I left teaching to do this. Um, I started teaching as a fifth grade teacher and I taught fifth grade for seven years and then we had to relocate. And then I taught math um, K through six um, as an intervention teacher. For five years, I taught eighth grade science for one year and um, sixth grade algebra for one year, like a kind of a pre-algebra, and then um, relocated to a different school, taught third grade for one year, taught two years of third, fourth, and fifth grade ELA. And then I ended my career with five years of fifth grade, which fifth grade is my favorite. I started with it and I ended with it. As far as I know, I ended with it. I don't foresee myself going back, but um, the, you never, I just got black on my nose. Is it gone? You cannot even tell. Anyway, yes, teacher. Mostly elementary, a little bit middle school, but um, yeah. I'm just, this is really wet on this corner. It's drying though. If you're new, do me a favor and type the words add me into the comments because if you're new, you wanna make sure that you get into my free crafting group. Um, it is, uh, it's a group where you're gonna get more ideas, inspiration and insider information from me. And designers can't join, but everybody else can. And yeah, all you have to do is type add me Hopefully you can hear me with this sound going. Okay, I'm gonna set this down. And I'm gonna wash my mat off with, oh my gosh, I have all my stuff over here with my gloves still on because I just, it's messy. And, oh yeah. I don't know if there's any under there. Oh no! Don't run away. Look how much black. Okay, so this is pretty good. I just don't want anything wet to touch anything that's not wet. Okay, now I'm going to wipe the back of this. All right, I don't think anything is wet. I'm going to take my gloves off and get to work now you know i can't leave this just black right like you do know who i am so we're going to make a little sanding block and we're gonna sand the edges because halloween 
It's not perfect. Halloween is old and distressed, right? You always have to do a little sanding. Thank you, Kathy Carpenter. Yes, I am a teacher, totally. Totally. I think once you're a teacher, you're always a teacher. And I tried so hard to not get black on my hands, but I did it anyway. So I'm going to do a little sanding. I'm going to try the edge on this just to get it a little spooky looking. Oh. That look cool. Kind of spooky looking, you guys. Okay, so I think it looks awesome. And I made another mess. I really don't think all my black is dry, which is why I'm making a, just a bunch of messes. Okay. But it's chalk. It comes right off your hands. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, hi, Gwen. Hi, Jocelyn. Oh, my goodness. Did I miss anybody? Hello, Treva. Hi, Callie. Okay. All right. Oh, with wet fingers, I can't do the scrolly thing. All right. I'm going to wipe this to get the, okay. Now we need to do some chalking. I have an old, old approach to doing some 3D things. This is our transfer. Boo y'all. It's super cute. It comes in the kit. If you haven't got your kit, all you have to do is type box in the comments to see it. Um, I'm going to write back on the back of this transfer and that's going to help me. Now, I <laughs> need my fuzzing cloth. I finally put my other one in the wash. I got a new fuzzing cloth out. Um, not new, but clean at least. And, ooh, this is super sticky. So we are going to fuzz it a few times just get as much fuzz on there as we can now I'm gonna take so in your kit you're gonna get a little square of foam oh my gosh I swear people can contact me all day but not they have to wait till I'm live um, we're going to place this onto our foam square, okay? It's like 3D fun foam. It comes right in your kit. We're going to use our white chalk paste for our ghost. Here's my white. Oh, I need to get a new white. I forgot I turned that one into a liquid. Okay. Here we go. I got a brand new fret. Oh, there's nothing like opening a fresh if you can open it. Sometimes my nails are not strong enough. Okay. okay. And I am going to stir this up. Love it, love it, love it. Something is not right with this. I'm gonna open another one. I don't know if I just discovered something, but um, it's really weird. That's not the way your chalk is supposed to be when you open it. Oh, this is the way it's, okay you guys. 
that chalk, when I opened it, was like Play-Doh. That's not what it's supposed to be like. It's supposed to be so creamy and dreamy. It's interesting. I'm going to have to uh, tell them what I, what I found there. Okay, so I'm going to take mini squeegee and just dip it into my oh so creamy dreamy chalk paste. And we're going to make, oh, a friendly ghost here. Because he says, boo, y'all. It's like Casper. Okay. Put that extra back into the jar. Because honestly, you don't need that much. If you see that you have any lines... Just go over it again until you've smoothed out Casper. Till he's a totally smooth ghost. Okay. Perfect. Now, I am going to peel this up from my foam. Hold, please. All right, so I have this really cute ghost on my foam. We're gonna set him there. And I'm just gonna wipe this clean real quick so that I can use it on my box. Easy peasy. And I'm going to dry it on that side. And I'm going to make sure it's fuzzed again. Now, I, I didn't want to um, turn on my hot glue. I didn't want to wax this because, well... I certainly could, but I think I'm just going to lay this down in here, and we're going to use two different colors. We're going to do, um, the, where's my, um, shimmer plum and orange peel. I gotta grab new ones because apparently I don't have them out. What's up, babe? Emma's not letting me do my shirt. Is she out there doing it? Yeah, we're doing wedding. I can't do my shirt. Tell her you promise you'll be good. Okay. Okay. So shimmer plum and oh wow. Surprise! Surprise. That is in the lid. Oh, this is so pretty. I have not used my Shimmer Plum yet, but this is gorgeous. Have you guys used Shimmer Plum? If not, it will be in this kit in a fun packet. And let me tell you, you aren't gonna use the whole packet in the kit. Um, so what I suggest you do is open up the white end. I give you a stir stick. So scoop some out with your stir stick, put it on your thing, and when you're done, make sure it's squeezed all the way back down, roll it up, tape it, and then you know what color it is and you can save it for later. That is my, um, my gift to you on saving your chalk. All right, so we're gonna do boo. I hope it shows up really cool because it's super shimmery we're gonna do boo is she is ryan doing it yeah. is em is bella doing it can you um ask her why Kids, kids, kids. Okay. Okay. Um, now I'm 
now we're gonna do orange peel. I would have given you shimmer pumpkin. Oh goodness, Rosie, that's not good. Move it to the middle. Can you see it now? Is that better? Sorry, I have a, a, a very um, busy mat tonight. Now we have our orange peel. Of course, in your kit, you're gonna have one squeegee, but you can wash it off in between. You can use water or, um, you know, a, a, a wipe. Um, shoot, I got a little bit extra over there which is okay because we're gonna be popping out our, our actual ghost. All right, there we go. Got the boo, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna put these squeegees in that water to clean up. I'm also gonna put my stir sticks in the water. And I'm gonna peel. Oh, it looks so cute. Let me hold it up. Um, let me hold it up so you guys can see real quick the actual color. Boo, y'all. I know I have a little bit of extra, um, and I'm gonna get that off with a Q-tip. A wet Q-tip. Um, and then we're going to dry that. Okay. So good to go. Now I want to dry this and this before I do anything wrong. I'm going to put these lids back on. If you don't dry it with a, um, our quick dry tool, which you don't have to, you can just let it dry on its own. It'll take about eight minutes. Um, but you could also use a hair dryer on a low setting. You just don't want it to get too hot. Let me get these lids going. And then I'm going to wash my transfer real quick so that it's um, all good to go because you don't ever want to soak your transfer in the water. You just kind of want to put it in, get it washed, and then let it start drying. There we go. Okay. So that is getting washed and I'm gonna I have still wet okay it's pretty dry but it isn't all the way dry so I'm gonna make sure it gets dried all the way that should be better Hi, Leslie. Hi, Heidi. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do with this little guy is I'm going to cut him out. Um, I'm probably just leaving the tiniest of edges around the white that's chalked. I don't want to get too close to the chalk. I like a little edge. It should allow him to pop 
a little better. And this is skinny, skinny foam. And what I mean by that, it's not the super thick. You can get different um, millimeters of thickness. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, this little triangle piece. All right, so we got him. <gasps> Hold, please. I need to do a little fixing of this guy. I, um, where's my whites? Right there. I am going to take a little tiny little paintbrush and dip it in to the white because I stuck my finger in this. So I'm just going to kind of make it so that it's good and doesn't look like my fingerprint there he can be distressed but I just don't want you to I don't want him to show my fingerprint so yeah you can do a little painting to fix areas he looks good now pile of craft foam I see uh totally yes you can chalk on your fun foam I have done a lot with it and the reason why I have done a lot with it is because it's a really easy way to get dimension without buying an $8,000 wood cutting machine and without cutting my finger off using my scroll saw. So when, when the colors work or whatever, um, it's really cool. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to apply everything. So we have our Booyah Shimmery um, 2D or 3D guy, and we're going to apply all of this. So we just need a little bit of glue on this. You could even add foam tape to make him pop out even more if you want. I'm just doing the hot glue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my, just, I, I know I'm off the page for a second. I just wanna use my, um, uh, my grid right here to measure the center. Cause this is seven, it's actually eight inches. So we're gonna go to the four which is centered right here. I'm just gonna put it even with that thick one. And I'm gonna add some glue to this little guy. And we're gonna put it on top. Centered. That looks good. And we're going to do the exact same thing with this one, centered as best you can. Uh, you could mark it if you wanted to mark it. I'm just using my grid here because it's quick and easy. There we go. And I see a little spot that I missed on this finial or this candlestick. So I got that. Looks good. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. <gasps> so cute. Okay. So, so far, see what he looks like. Yes, Pam, exactly. Like I just, all right. So you're gonna get the black, um, 
you're going to get some black uh, jute to use. You're going to get a cool purple, um, a sparkly purple, green, and orange, black and white, and then orange um, piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick it on here and double double knot it. You know, you could also do it at the top if you want your embellishment at the top. I didn't, I just like kind of realized you can do it however you want. Pull the little things so that you can see them all. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of pull these, make them um, even with those, and then I'm gonna unravel them. Just twist them and peel. If you wanna unravel it even more, you can use our detail tool. It's a really great unraveler. It's like that pokey tool. Um, okay, so here we go. Now, if you haven't yet, you can type box in the comments to get the um, to get all the supplies to make this. Let me go through really quickly everything. You're gonna get the box. You get the transfer. You get the fun foam. You get the two, the finial on the and the base piece, plus four chalk paste colors, which by the way, all of them you will have left over. So you will have that shimmer plum, that orange peel, white and black left over to use on other things. And since the transfer, that stencil is reusable, dude, dude, you can make so many other Halloween-y things with those same colors. Um, you can use our transfers on wood, candles, metal, glass, gosh, chalkboards, of course, painted walls, windows. You can do booyah on your front door if you want um, or on your front window. So this is just super cute, little easy um, thing. All the embellishments are with it and you have a video right here to come back and watch when it's your turn to um, do your project when you get it. Never thought of felt. So I have chalked on felt. Please, please, please. Um, definitely fuzz your transfer a lot because your transfer will stick to the felt like mad. So you can chalk on it, but it will definitely stick. Um, I might even lightly wax the felt. It sticks that much to it. Thank you, Leslie. Woohoo. Um, okay, so, oh, Sarah, thank you. Thank you, Delilah. I love it too. Can you see it up close? Um, I love the added uh, of the um, sanding. You don't have to, but I love it. So tomorrow, we're gonna have a sweet treat. My son Ryan and I have been working on a project and he is my 12 year old. He's gonna join me tomorrow for a really cool project. Something you probably never thought of and neither did we, but we're kind of creative and so we came up with this. Um, so hopefully you join me tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time, we'll be right here again. Thank you guys. Um, lastly, I just wanna remind you, if you're new, type add me to the comments and I'll send you an invite for my group. Um, if you want to get this, all the, the kit and everything, just type box in the comments. And, um, oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. If you're curious about becoming a designer, you guys, this month, you can earn your kit price back free. It's $99 for US, $127 for Canadian. And if you join in August, you can earn that cash back into your pocket um, all you have to do is hit a really easy sales goal by the end of September. Two months to earn your kit back and you'll get cash in your pocket. Um, so if you've been thinking about it, this might be, this might be um, 
the time to do it. Type team in the comments if you're curious about becoming a designer and interested in that uh, cashback option. Um, and if you haven't joined my club, OMG, type club in the comments so that you can get the details on that. I gotta go. Tomorrow I'll be back here. Tomorrow is National Night Out, so I'll have to... What? National Night Out? I didn't even know about it. Uh, like National Go Out Night or National Don't Turn On Any Screens Night? Because it could be met either way. I don't even know. Hi, Amy. Thank you, Marlene. Thank you, Monique. So, oh, I'm not going to be able to go out anyway because... Because Ryan and I have a date at 8 o'clock to do his project, and Easton will be at lacrosse. So, with his dad. Okay, you guys, that's it. I'm done. I'm going to go relax. It's the end of my Monday. I will see you back here tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you.